Yes, brown. 50 cents. We arrive at the airport. Um, we still don't know our gate. The information is not available yet. We keep waiting. It's not gonna take long. We're walking to the gate. C48, I guess. You know, I suck at numbers. I read it like literally two minutes ago and I can't remember. Like 40, 46, 48, can't remember. I'm so bad. And it was C40, by the way. So I was wrong. So we made it, the gate. It's a little bit early, but I mean, it's okay, I think. So we just have to wait like 20 minutes. It's 8.48 and the boarding starts at 9.10. So it looks like we made it. We're boarding right now. The leg room is tiny. I mean, we arrived. I don't understand. I thought we were supposed to take a kind of, you know, those strange buses. Dan's in town. I was like, hey. In the metro, going downtown, I mean, the center, historical center. Coliseum. Isn't it this? Mm, you mean this? When you look for the Coliseum, you can't really miss it. I mean, you exit from the metro station, which is this. And you find immediately this. Isn't it amazing? Let's go take a walk. The weather is not the best. It's just. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's not raining, so I guess it's good. Right now you're going to see something amazing. So 
how you can see, I have no words to describe this. I mean, there's so much to see and such little time. You know, I don't have much time. We're just gonna stay a couple of days. And there are so many places, like really beautiful and interesting from the point of view of like history, culture and everything. I mean, this used to be the capital of the entire world, the Roman Empire. Uh, almost arrived where? Piazza Venezia. And it's a very, like, really historical place. And here is the monument for unknown soldiers, for the unknown soldiers who died during the Great War, the First War. And it's this. And we have a Christmas tree here. It would be good to see it when it's dark with the lights on. Hey, when you take a walk in the city, you can't help but enjoy art. Let's go this way. It's overwhelming the amount of um, monuments, churches, ancient buildings. I lived here in the past. And I would see these things every day. But every time, I guarantee you, every single time I see these places, it's just like the first time. So we have the Christmas tree and behind me, besides the Christmas tree, Christmas tree here, we have this building with a balcony. That's where in the 20s and 30s Benito Mussolini used to like, talk to the crowd, to the cheering crowd. It's getting dark and my Canon 10 to 18 millimeters, hmm, you know, it's f4.5, it's not really great in low light. So we'll see, we're going now to Piazza Navona and take a look at the um, Christmas stands, decorations and everything there. What? Everything closed? No, open. What are you talking about here? It should be crowded with people. Wait. To my surprise, I didn't find all the Christmas stands open. That's weird. Normally, during Christmas season, it's difficult even to enter this square because of the crowd coming here, uh, especially to buy things and see things from the stands here, which are closed now. And this is the main fountain in Piazza Navona, project by Bernini, which is awesome. I love it. Um, this square, uh, besides the uh, fountain this and the church there are many 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 restaurants most of them they're really expensive but some of them are affordable but you have to be aware that in the affordable ones you're gonna eat opinion this is one of the most beautiful places in the world
square, this place, it's called Campo de Fiori. During the Inquisition, many, many, many people were burned here, executed. And this statue, his name is Giordano Bruno, was killed, executed here, burnt alive. We're really enjoying our walk in Rome today. Right now I'm using the 10 to 18 millimeters and at 4.5 ISO 1000. Isn't it cute? At least I was able to show you also the Christmas tree in Piazza Venezia, which is nice with all those lights. Uh, cute, I love it. It started to rain, so I mean the camera is where they're sealed, uh, but the lenses, uh, I believe they're not. Designer stores like Fendi, uh, Calvin Klein, Armani, uh, Dior, you name it, all in this area. As you can see Fendi <laughs> here. You see? So I keep walking on Villa Corso for two reasons. One, to go to the Spanish Steps and the Trevi Fountain and also I want to say hi to an old friend he has a store at the, um, the beginning of Bielo Corso it's the beginning if you come from Piazza del Popolo I don't even know if it's there it's gonna be a surprise I mean if it's there this is my friend's store it's actually like a place where you can have brunch, lunch, breakfast let's check if he's here I mean here he doesn't know I'm going so let's see gonna get some coffee. You know, I love coffee. This coffee is awesome! So I'm just gonna finish breakfast with a croissant, chocolate croissant, and my coffee, and then I'll try to go to the Trevi Fountain. To my dear friend. It's a very good friend. It's always good, like, when you see someone that you haven't seen in like 10, 15 years. So, now, 
The weather doesn't look good at all, but I'll do what I can and try to see the Trevi Fountain. The Spanish steps right here. Well, definitely sitting on the stairs today is not an option. So I'm just walking. I keep going. As you can see, as I told you, it's raining. But I promise you that I will show you the Trevi Fountain. And this is the Trevi Fountain. If you throw, if you toss a coin uh, in the fountain, uh, the destiny, fate, will make you come back here in this wonderful city. Three, two, one. I've just thrown 50 cents. What an experience. Bye. So, this is the end. We're back. Heading home. Madrid. And that's where we're going to celebrate this Christmas. Here in Madrid. Me and my family. Merry Christmas.